the big buzzword that's around at the moment is healthy living, health and well-being, mental well-being, and it's all linked to green spaces, open air, and that's what we can provide over and above anybody else. We're a care provider, doing all sorts of activities from woodwork, cooking, arts and crafts, to animal care, motor vehicle studies, um, horticulture, anything you can do in the fresh air, we do. This is a very welcoming place. And I think just being able to sit down and not have pressure um, is something that again can release people um, and we've got lots of young people and adults who have been anxious or worried or concerned and they come here and they've got space just to be the person they're meant to be. Um, they've got space to express themselves without any stress or pressure um, and I think that that's one of the, the great things uh, about working in, in the open air environment. I come to the farm just once a week every Friday. I've been coming to the farm for seven years. Why, why do I love coming here? It's just that it's, uh, it's meeting people. It's just uh, the fresh air, the beauty of uh, the countryside around you. And it makes you feel kind of good for the day. And you can go home and have a smile on your face. I think one of the things that, that I enjoy the most is when I walk into that shed and I hear the laughter and the fun, and I'm, I think those people are really enjoying themselves, and, and that's the name of the game. If they're enjoying themselves, they're out and about, they're in the countryside, brilliant. Care farming is a fantastic way of helping to connect people with nature, and we know that nature has huge benefits for people's mental health, um, and it is a great way to connect people up who might be isolated in the community. It's really good for our well-being. But what the care farms do, which is really good, is provide a way not just to connect people with activity and with nature, but to actually make that meaningful. So to really give people opportunity, not just to be present, but to participate and master skills. People come and go out with certain skills that for sure they learn, like take care of plants, to water them, to harvest. For me, the farming and the gardening, they're all just tools to grow self-confidence. I came to Wild Goose as a volunteer um, after a long period of mental illness. It was pretty bad. Um, I had a suicide attempt and following that I was stuck in the house for nine months and then since coming here it's just been building on that ever since. Service users feel that um, they're part of something real and they're helping the farm to function, which can be incredibly powerful. It can just turn people around and um, yeah, help them feel better about themselves, feel a sense of purpose, and then move on to um, you know, fulfil the potential that was always there but just got lost along the way. Before I come here, I wouldn't really be social. and It was really hard at school. I kept getting really nervous and distracted in the environment and it was really hard for me to concentrate. Now I started mechanics at going to a college, uh, which I probably wouldn't have done if I hadn't have come here. Social prescribing link workers that are based in pet primary care networks can refer people to care farms to help them connect with nature and to develop the skills and confidence to be able to go into employment or volunteering or um, just enjoying nature in the ways that they want. You just see people unlocking all those little little nooks and crannies in their lives that have caused them upset start to fall away and you start to deal with the real person. I'd say the benefits of care farming is the ability to grow in an environment that's not in the stresses of town. I come here and I open the door and all I hear is the birds singing and it instantly relaxes you and puts you in a place of ease. Coming here has probably made me a lot more confident with people who have mental disabilities and I can relate to them with my disability as well. So that's why I think it's good for them to come here and me being here is kind of change my life with what they can do, really. I mean, when we first come, he was, was very, very quiet, wouldn't speak to anybody, but, but now I drop him at that gate and he, he just looks forward to coming here. He's a totally different person, to be honest, to what he was. I don't think that I'd be the person I am today 
without coming to Wild Goose and experiencing everything that they have to offer. Um, the relaxing, calm and environment, the welcomingness of the staff and students, and the encouragement when it's needed, but not the pressure to do so. And it's just been fantastic for me. I've been ill since I was, well, before I was 21, I'm now 30. Um, and I think if I'd have found this five, six years ago, I'd have been in an entirely different place. Humanity is not designed to live in a box. Green spaces, fresh air, animals, and contact with other people, that is, that is the key to, to life.